Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today, pag-uusapan naman natin kung paano natin gagamitin yung mga ratio and proportion sa pagsagot ng mga word problems involving geometry and also algebra. Sa lesson on polygons at mga properties and conditions na mga shapes na pinag-aaralan natin sa geometry, kadalasan ay hinihingan tayo kung paano natin kukunin yung mga supat ng ating mga sides, mga angles, and mga diagonals. And for today, pag-uusapan naman natin yung ilan sa mga techniques and algebra um, skills na kailangan natin gamitin sa pagsagot ng ilan sa mga geometry problems tulad ng similarities, hindi lang sa triangles, pati na rin sa ilang mga polygons na pag-aaralan natin sa mga lessons natin dito. So, unahin natin yung mga properties ng proportions. Ang um, proportions, yan yung representation ng ating ratio. At alam natin, ang ratio is another way of representing fractions. At marami tayong mga techniques na pwedeng gamitin sa pagsagot at pag-simplify at pag-modify ng mga fractions natin para makapagsagot tayo ng mga rational equations or equations involving fractions na kadalasan ay makikita natin sa geometry. At ang una nating pag-uusapan ay yung property number one which is yung reciprocal property na sabi dito kung meron daw tayong fraction A all over B equal to C all over D, equivalent siya or ang value niya ay parehas lang sa B all over D equal to D all over C, which means pagbabalik ta rin lang natin or kukunin yung reciprocal ng ating mga fractions. So for example, tulad ng example natin dito, sa property number 1, kung meron daw tayong 2 all over 3 equal to 4 all over 6, ito daw ay parehas lamang at equal sa... 3 all over 2 equal to 6 all over 4. So mapapansin nyo na pinagpalit lang natin yung ating numerator at denominator at ang value niyan would still be the same dahil 6 times 2 will be 12. 3 times 4 is also 12. At mapapansin nyo dito sa ating uh, solution or modification sa kabila, 4 times 3 is also 12, and 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So magkaiba man ang kanilang forma, magkaparehas pa rin ang kanilang value dahil yan sa tinatawag nating reciprocal property ng ating mga fractions. So ang ating 2 all over 3 equal to 4 all over 6 ay pwede nating i-rewrite into 3 all over 2 equal to 6 all over 4. At yung pangalawa naman natin, meron tayong tinatawag na switching the means. At alam natin yung means sa ratio and proportion, ito yung nasa gitna ng ating dalawang um, ratio. So kung meron tayong A all over B equal to C all over D, pwede natin siyang i-modify into A all over C equal to B all over D wherein you will notice na pinag-switch lang natin yung values ng ating mga means or yung ating second diagonal. So, same example. So, kung property number 2 yung gagamitin natin kung meron tayong 2 all over 3 equal to 4 all over 6. Kung gusto nating i-modify to using property number 2 is switch lang natin yung means which means and daming means, yung ating fractions na 2 all over 6, ito yung tinatawag nating extreme, ay hindi magpapalit, pero yung ating mga means ay switch which is 3, and parang hindi naman siya nag-switch, which is ito magiging 4 at ito ang magiging 3. So with that case, so alam na natin na 12 and 12 itong fraction na ito, at mapapansin nyo na 6 and 2 is also 12, 4 and 3 is still 12, so that means... Using property number 2, nag-modify lang tayo ng fraction, but the value will still be the same. And again, ito yung mga techniques sa algebra na pwede natin gamitin sa geometry, especially sa lesson on similarity. At yung pangatlo natin ay yung A all over B equal to C all over D ay equal daw sa sum ng AB all over B equal to sum ng C, all o C plus D all over D. So, medyo marami pero kung gagamitin ulit natin yung ating example kanina, so kung meron tayong 2 all over 3 which is our original pair of fractions, kung gusto natin gamitin itong technique na ito, gagawin lang natin napapansin nyo na si denominator hindi nagbago, ito pa rin ay 3 and 6 
at yung ating numerator ay hindi rin nagbago. Meron pa rin tayong 2 and 4. Pero, i-add natin yung mga denominator natin sa fraction number 1 at sa fraction number 2. At yan ang ating property number 3 na kung saan i-add natin yung denominator to our numerator at parehas rin lang siya ng sagot. At kung... Uh, Gagamitan natin siya ng cross multiplication. So, meron tayong 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 over 3. 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 all over 6. At mapapansin yon na 6 times 5 is still 30. 3 times 10 is still 30. So, equivalent pa rin siya. Magkaparehas pa rin yung ating equation. Pero magkaiba lang yung ating mga forma At yan yung ating tatlong properties na gagamitin para magsagot ng ilan sa mga problem dito sa work natin dito. So ito yung ating switching the means at ito naman yung ating adding the denominator to the numerator. So kung meron tayong problem tulad nito, 3 all over x equal to 4 all over y and we need to produce our 3 uh, notations gamit yung ating mga properties, madali na natin siyang masasagutan dahil gagamitan lang natin siya ng ating mga properties. So, sa first property, so from 3 all over x equal to 4 all over y, yung first, first property niya is reciprocal lang, so switch lang natin si x at si 3 at si y at si 4, ito na ngayon yung ating property number 1, which is switching or using the reciprocal at equal pa rin siya ng original fractions. At sa property number 2, kung meron tayong 3 all over x, 4 all over y, is switch lang natin yung ating mga extremes. So, kung meron tayong fraction, alam natin na si... Uh, Ang magiging switch natin as yung extreme natin, or dito, ito yung ating i-retain 3 and y. Pero switch natin yung ating 4 and x. So, ito yung magiging 4 at ito yung magiging x. At ito yung property number 2 natin para ma-modify natin yung ating original um, fraction. So, 3 all over 4 equal to x all over y. So, yan yung ating property 2. And property 3, kung meron tayong 3 all over x, equal to 4 all over y. Meron tayong dal dalawang fraction, parehas pa rin ang denominator, parehas pa rin ang numerator, pero i-add na natin ngayon yung denominator here and sa second fraction, at meron na tayong modification ng ating third property using the sum of the numerator and the denominator will give you the same result as your original Fraction. So again, pare-parehas lang sila ng mga sagot kapag kinross multiply ninyo at yan yung ating properties and again mga techniques na pwede natin gamitin sa pag-solve ng mga similarities ng ating mga polygons. Which means, if we have a polygon that you are seeing right now, sa so makikita nyo sa diagram, meron tayong x, y, and 6, 7. Meron tayong uh, two triangles that's on top of each other. So in this diagram, x all over 6 equal to y all over 7 will be the representation of our uh, proportioned uh, triangles. Ano daw ang ratio na pwede mag-complete sa equivalent proportion natin na x all over y equal to a box and a box. So in this case, pwede tayong gumamit ng property 1, property 2, property 3 in this particular example. So since meron tayong x all over 6 equal to y all over 7, we can rewrite it and using property number 2, makukuha na natin yung presentation natin nitong ating equation. Dahil si x all over 6 equal to y all over 7, which is our original pair ng ating expression pertaining to our triangle, ang uh, pagkuha ng ating values ng x at ng values ng y ay pwede natin gamitin si property 2. So, switch natin yung ating mga diagonals. Actually, hindi mga diagonals. Isang diagonals lang. At switch lang natin yung diagonal ng ating means. So, si 6y ay nag-switch doon sa pangalawang expression. At mapapansin nyo, dito sa ating uh, um, new fraction, x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 7 by just replacing yung ating means or yung second diagonal sa ating equivalent fraction. So that means, ang uh, magkukompleto ng ating fraction dito, makikita natin na si x will be associated to 6 
dahil sa ating reciprocal property at si Y ay associated to 7 para makabuo tayo ng fraction that is still proportional dito sa ating original fraction na x all over 6 equal to y all over 7. So yan yung paggamit ng mga properties natin sa pag-solve ng ilan sa mga problems natin sa geometry. Now, paano natin gagamitin yung concept ng ratio and proportion sa pagsagot ng mga word problems tulad nito? According dito sa map na nakikita natin, on a chamber of com um, commerce map of... Abira Springs, 5 miles corresponds to 2 inches. So yung 2 inches na nakikita natin dun sa mapa, 5 miles ang uh, equivalent sukat niya sa totoong lugar ng Abira Springs. Now, how many miles corresponds to 7 inches? So ang una natin gagawin dito is, syempre, tulad ng mga word problems na sinasagutan natin, kailangan nating Buuin yung ating equation. So, sabi dito, yung ating first statement, sabi, 5 miles corresponds to 2 inches. So, ito yung ating ratio ngayon. Pwede natin siyang isulat into 5 is to 2, which is yung ating um, another way of representing a ratio. At sabi dito, ang um, uh, miles daw i corresponding to inches. So that means, dun sa ating second statement, yung hinahanap natin, how many miles correspond to 7 inches? Kung itatranslate natin yan, ibig sabihin nun, ilan daw ang magko-correspond sa 7 inches? So alam natin na ito yung 7 inches at ito yung given. At hindi natin ngayon alam yung uh, number of miles. So yan yung hahanapin natin. So meron tayo ngayong x is to 7, which is yung ating hahanaping ratio doon sa ating given problem. So, since meron na tayo ngayong ratio, what we can do is to represent this in fraction form para makuha natin yung ating mga um, yung x na hinahanap. So, ito yung ating first ratio at ito yung ating second ratio. So, what we can do is change this into a fraction. 5 all over 2 equal to yung ating second fraction. Mukha lang siyang fraction pero para ma hindi kayo malito. X is 2, 7. Baka sabihin nyo meron tayong dalawang fraction. But representation lang yan ng ating ratio. So sabi dito, 5 is to 2. So X is to 7. So X is right here. So pwede na natin gamitin yung ating cross products or cross multiplication to solve for X. So what we are going to do is to multiply this with 7. 5 times 7 all over 2 will still be equal to X. So hindi na natin kailangan i cross multiply si 2 dahil kailangan natin si X by itself. So ito na ngayon yung ating fraction form nung uh, measurement that corresponds to 7 inches. And if you want to further simplify this, 5, over seven, five times 7 is 35 divided by 2. And what is half of 35? Half of 35 is 17.5. So yan yung approximated value ng ating length from miles to inches. So, ginamita natin siya ng ratio and proportion. So, 5 over 2 yung ating first fraction equal to x all over 7. And by cross multiplication, we're able to produce 35 all over 2, which is 17.5 if you want to change it in decimal form. So, 7 inches according to this, or 17.5 miles corresponds to 7 inches in this particular ratio and proportion problem. And again, mahalaga yung pagsulat nyo ng numerator and denominator dahil kung nagkabaliktad sila at mali yung kanila mga forma, magiging mali din yung ating mga sagot. So be careful on how you write your notation. And in this example, the standard dose of antibiotic is 4 cubic centimeters or 4 cc for every 25 pounds of body weight. Now, at this rate, Find the standard dose for a 140-pound woman. So, ito yung ating ratio natin. At syempre, yung ating first statement, yan yung ating magiging basis para sa ating notations. So, meron tayong 4cc is to 25 pounds of weight. So, kung sasagutin natin yung tanong, which is find the standard dose for a 140-pound woman na kailangan ng antibiotic na ito, 
gagawin or susulatin natin yung statement ang makikita nyo na um, hahanapin natin ngayon is yung uh, cubic centimeter na uh, uh, amount of antibiotic na po sa 140 pound na babae. So, next, kailangan natin isulat yung ating equation which is napakahalaga. So, sa pagsulat ng ating equation, meron na tayong 4 is 225. 4 is 225 which is equal to blank is 240. So, meron na tayo ngayong equation na pwedeng gamitin. So, 4 all over 25 is equal to x all over 140 by cross multiplication. We'll be able to solve for the value of x that we are looking for. And in this case, 4 over 25 equal to x all over 140 will equal to 4 times 140 all over 25 or 560 all over 25. And if we're going to change this in decimal form, we'll have 22.4 cubic centimeters of antibiotic na pwede nating i-administer sa 140-pound woman dito sa ating um, problem na ito. At yan yung paggamit natin ng mga ratio and proportion at ang tamang pagsulat ng mga notations natin para makuha natin yung tamang sagot ng mga word problems na sinasagutan natin. So, ang number bender challenge natin for today is an NBA basketball player averages 45 baskets for every 100 attempts. Now, if he attempted 800 baskets, how many did he make? At again, sa pagsulat ng mga word problems, kailangan tama yung ating mga numerator and denominator at yung kaukulang ratio na gagamitin natin para masolve natin yung hinahanap natin. So in this case, you need to figure out kung ilang bola ang pumasok sa basket dito sa NBA player natin. So, number bender challenge of the day sa mga kakasa, comment it down below sa inyong sagot sa paghanap ng uh, value of x dito sa ating ratio and proportion problems or similarity problems sa geometry. At sa mga students, napakahalaga ng pagsulat ng mga notations sa pagsagot ng mga word problems hindi lang sa algebra, pati sa geometry and trigonometry and even calculus. At to be able to do this with confidence, kailangan nyo na practice and kailangan nyo nauunawaan yung mga notations natin at kung paano tayo nagpa-formulate ng formula sa so mathematics para matuhan natin yung tamang sagot ng walang pag-aalinlangan. Alinlangan, gusto nyo yun? So this, again, this is Dr. E and see you again next time ng walang pag-aalinlangan. Bye!